Hello friends, this is Harish Bali from technofair.com. I am going to cover two things in this tutorial. A. How to create ISO file for Windows 10 that's already in use. B. How to create ISO file to store your important files and folders. You may need to store large size games or software or your system may simply not have a CD-ROM. Let's first learn how to create ISO file for Windows 10. Search for Windows Media Creation Tool. Here's the link by Microsoft Windows 10 ISO. Do you want to install Windows 10 on your PC? Here's the tool. Run it. You need to be administrator to run this tool on your system. Accept the terms. Choose the second option. Create installation media for another PC. Language options. If you want to create a bootable USB, choose the first option. This will take many hours. I am choosing the ISO file. Next, choose destination and save it. I have already created one. It's saved on my desktop. Here it is. So with your original windows, it's important to make a note of product key for disaster recovery. Okay, now to create an ISO file from your own physical disk. You will need a third party program. There are many options that are available but my personal preference is Image Burn. That's easy to use and a super easy interface. Let's learn how to use it. Go to imgburn.com, download, choose this option provided by IMG Burn Mirror 7 and download the setup and install the same. I have already done that. Here's the shortcut IMG Burn. Open it. If you want to create an ISO file of your CD or DVD, then choose this option create image from disk and it will automatically detect all your CD DVD and show you the saved destination of the ISO file. In case you want to create an ISO file for any file or folder on your computer, then choose this option create image file from files or folder. This will allow you to select files and folders from your computer plus also allows you to select the safe destination of the ISO file. I'll show you how to create an ISO from a folder. Here's the folder option. Let me choose this wallpaper. Select. Choose destination. I'll save it on desktop by the name test. Save. Then click on build. It's done. Here's the ISO file for wallpaper folder. Generally people use ISO file to avoid frequent use of CD. I use it a lot because it supports Windows 10 and mounts easily. How was that tutorial? If you found this good, give it a thumbs up. Also watch other interesting videos by clicking on the links that you see in front of your screen. Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and thanks for watching.